Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about how to connect MATLAB to SQL and this video is a part of MATLAB uh, for financial engineering course. So my whole idea about uh, connecting MATLAB to SQL is uh, to understand how you can access big database from SQL and how you can uh, query those and pull them up into MATLAB for your use. Now this is very important because uh, most of the stock prices, suppose you are pulling from uh, uh, from your own database or you are pulling from a big database and then you want to use them in MATLAB, you need to understand how the connection framework works. And in this video I am going to uh, j just talk about uh, uh, how to link those uh, two, how to link MySQL with MATLAB. And I have created some of uh, uh, the tables in SQL. So you need a few things here. You need the MATLAB. You need the uh, MySQL. And you need a file called MySQL Connector Java. That's a file uh, that has all the drivers. So whole idea here is to uh, first uh, input uh, the host name. Now this host, uh, if you are into programming, the local host is your own system and 3306 is uh, the address. So let me show you it from here. So can you see here? User root host local host 3306. <coughs> so that would be the host. Now uh, when, when I type this in MATLAB, this would go as variable. So my password here is root <coughs> and my SQL uh, local instance is running I you can check it from here so my server is running so everything is working from here if I go to manage connection this is the host name, username, and port. So the host name, if it's different in your case or in your database, you can just use it here. The user and the password. Now I want to use a database here. So I am looking for the database. Suppose I've created a database here. And I'm I want to use <coughs> the database world here. So I'll go here and the database that I want to access I'll put the name here so that I have uh, access to that database. If I were to access uh, some other database I could have used it there. Now you don't need to worry about you need to do one thing you need to search this file the connector and it's available on this uh, link or you can just search this on Google and you'll get the link. Once you are uh, done with that you should paste it into your current directory so I have pasted it here. After that's done I'll run this and it will run fine. If uh, So uh, in, in my case now uh, I'm using another version so I'll make, so make sure the name is common So here I have added the right name. Now everything is ready. The host, username, the database, the connectivity, everything is fine. Now I have to select star from and the name of the table. Now uh, I have uh, various tables here in the world. It's city, it's country, it's country language. Now I want to suppose select everything from table city. So I'll go here. I'll make it city. And once that is done, uh, that's all. Now to make the connection, you have to use dbcon. To break the connection, you have to use close dbcon. Now I have to go here. And I just paste it and I got the values. And you can see everything that has come here. 
so if uh, I were to do that step by step and I'll keep putting on these values and they'll come on here on the right so uh, the uh, query initially is stored as a string and when you use this command let me point that out so this query this is so stored as string but when you use this command rs fetch this would actually bring it here so it will use this connection dbcon that you just made it will go there it's uh, same as uh, coming here and typing that query it will go there and it will do this select star from world.city and it will do the same thing by coming here so uh, again we are doing the same thing we are selecting dbcon we just made dbcon like this for that we used all those variables that we just defined so that that's how we did it and uh, we could see that this is like suppose Kabul and all these things they have come here so so that was a way on how to collect connect uh, Java and MATLAB for more information you can uh, email me or you can look out uh, for other videos thank you for listening to this i hope you liked it and i'll get back to you with more details thanks and have a nice time ahead